Hi, today let's talk about a magic transition in PowerPoint you didn't know about. Let's say you want to show a continuous timeline. Here we have first, second and third points shown and we have a background. Then we have the next slide where the fourth, fifth and sixth points shown. Now what kind of transition would you add between the first slide and the second slide? Now, if you are like most presenters, you would add a push transition. So let me go to transitions, say push transition, and let us change the effect options to from right. Now let us go to slideshow and see how the transition works. Here are the three points. On a click, we show the next three points like this. Even though the idea of showing the next set in a straight line with a push transition is good, here because of the background, the whole transition looks ugly. As you can see, the entire picture gets shown over again. Now, is there a way to make this better? Yes, there is. By using a magic transition, you can make just these elements move and keep the background just the way it is. Let me show you. This is the first slide. Here I've applied that magic transition and see how the transition happens. First, second and third and only this strip moves and rest everything remains in its place and therefore the transition is smooth the points are covered in a very smooth way even if you add more points you can still make this timeline work beautifully in a continuous seamless fashion now what is that magic transition that allows you to move the elements in a seamless fashion without the background moving i'll show you but before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new presentation and these are the two slides. Now let us go to the Transitions tab and see the options we have. When I go to the drop down menu, I see a set of them under Subtle and a set of them under Exciting. And there is a whole different set under Dynamic Content and this is where the magic happens. Now the thing is, most presenters have very little idea about what dynamic content does. Now, we have push transition here and we have pan transition here. Now at the face of it, they both work the same. Now let me show you first how pan transition works. If I go to effect options and change this from right, when I go to the first slide and go to slideshow, this is how the pan transition works. Now, there is no real difference between pan transition and push transition, isn't it? Now, the real difference happens when you make the change in the background. Now, what we need to do here is, we need to ensure that all the elements that need to remain the way they are to be in the background. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us select this, which is the title, and let us select this, which is the photo, which is in the background. Let us press Ctrl X to cut it. Then let us remove this title. We don't really need that. Right click and paste it as picture. Now can you see here, this is the new background that can be used. Now this background needs to go as the slide background. For that, let us right click on this and cut it again. Then go to picture or texture fill. Now if you remember, we just cut a photo. It is there in the clipboard of the computer. When I go to picture or texture fill, I can call that picture from the clipboard by going to picture source and clipboard. Now this is the new background. I cannot change it. I cannot move it because this is part of the background. Now I'm going to do the same for the next slide as well. Let us select this, delete it. Let us select this, delete it. We don't really need any of this because we are going to add a background which already has the title in it. So go to picture or texture fill and say picture source clipboard. Now both the slides have the same background. Now let us apply the pan transition. Let us go to transitions and apply pan transition and go to effect options from right. Let us see what happens. Here is the first slide. Go to slideshow. Here on a click you can see just the strip moves, the background stays the way it is. Now if I need to add another set of points, I can do so. I can right click, duplicate the slide and let us change the text here. Let us call this the seventh point and this one is the eighth one and this is the ninth point. 
Now, since we duplicated this second slide, the transition comes along with it. Now, let us go to the first slide and on a click, we have the timeline extend to the next set of points and then on a click, it extends further. As you can see here, we can create a continuous timeline with as many points as you want. So the next time you want to show something where the content pans across multiple slides, then instead of using the usual push transition, use a dynamic content pan transition and it works beautifully. Now all these other transitions that you see under dynamic content also work on the same principle. So impress your audience with these magic transitions and score in your next presentation. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.